In this episode of our review of Ontario Provincial Parks, we were at Mare Provincial Park near Aurelia, Ontario, and is on the shores of Lake Simcoe. What Mare is best known for is the big beach. It's a beautiful beach, beautiful sandy bottom, nice view of Lake Simcoe. Filling up a little water spot in front of the comfort station. Good. This is a little different. There's no actual station for this. It's just right outside the comfort station. Fill up the water, we gotta really stretch it across there. Mara has 52 electrical sites, 53 non-electric sites, one comfort station with showers, one comfort station at the beach, no showers, just washrooms, one potable water fill station, one dump station with a non-threaded hose. There's one trail, it's 500 meters in length, and it's closed. No park store, no visitor center, um, no pet exercise area, no dogs on the beach, but they can be back where the picnic tables are in the grassy area. Um, and the bike trail does go from the park through into Aurelia. Monday and it's pretty apparent that the beach is a whole different world on a weekday than on a weekend. The uh, picnic area which is normally on the weekend just packed with people from day use uh, is pretty much empty right now. There's hardly anybody there. And the main beach as you can see, uh, not a lot of people and it is really really nice. For me, it's just a little too busy on the weekend. A lot of day use people, a lot of equipment, barbecues, uh, toys, all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, it's just a little too much for me. This is a beautiful time, beautiful day, love it.
quite a storm last night. Now it's time to do a little bit of cleanup. That if you walk away, nothing ever change. Hear me when I say, let's make a night to remember. Let's celebrate from now till forever. This time we'll make a night to remind us we only have one life. Gotta live it out loud. We just finished five days at Mara Provincial Park. It's kind of a different park for us. It's not the usual type of uh, camping and provincial park that we go to. Uh, what do you think, Cheryl? It was a tiny little park, well manicured, well cared for. There was an appropriate amount of staff working. You always saw the truck going by. Um, it was great for the beach, had tons of sand, clear water, good for a day use more so. Nice sandy bottom at the beach. Yeah. Um, very busy on weekends that are to go during the week. Um, the sites themselves, not what we like. They're more open, not a lot of privacy. Especially when you're talking sites 38 to 60. It almost looked like that it was like event camping. Like you go to a big concert and they have this field and they put all the tents in there. We had Site 32, our friends backed on to us, Site 35, and it was wide open between the two sites, so I'm glad it was somebody we knew. Yeah, it was ideal for us yeah. because it's our friends, so it's like a big open site, even though it's two sites, so it was ideal for us. But if it wasn't our friends next to us, We'd be right on top of the uh, people beside us. We'd be having our campfires looking at each other. So it, it really wasn't our type of place. The type of place it is, it's excellent as a day use park. And I think the majority of people use it that way. It's pretty apparent on the weekends that uh, most of the crowd comes from the Toronto area. Really for them, it's an hour and a half drive straight up the 400, they're in Aurelia and then they get a nice beach and a huge picnic area right at the beach. And you could see every one of those picnic tables was used up. It was packed with people, all of them with massive amounts of food, barbecues, beach toys, everything. There was, there was a lot going on there. And I think that's really what the park is all about, day use. For camping though, uh, it's really not much of a camping park. It has 500 meters of trails which is nothing, and that trail happened to be closed. How it worked well for us is we used it just as a base of operations. It's a place to park, place to sleep, then we can go into Aurelia. Aurelia is a wonderful town. They have a lot of events going on, especially on the weekends. Uh, this weekend when we went down... We got to explore a lot. Yeah, the downtown streets were closed uh, for street performers and shopping and a market and all that sort of stuff. So it is, it's a really nice uh, touristy town to explore in the summertime and we're able to use the facilities at its sister parks which is McRae Point and Bass Lake. McRae Point, like maybe 10 minute drive. Yeah and same thing with uh, Bass Lake about 10 minutes away. Uh, they're, they're nice and close. Those two are also small parks but a little bigger than Mara. Mara has I believe 105 sites and those ones have like 150 to 200 sites. Overall uh, it wasn't really my kind of park. But it was a nice, well-kept park. Yep. So I would give it probably a half a thumb. Cheryl's Sorry. giving it a half a thumb. Yeah, which makes a full thumb all together. Up yep. There. Great beach. If you love beaching it, then that would be for you. Right? And next time, we're going to be going to... Hog Lake in Algonquin Park. Yeah. Next and month. We'll see you there.